What is up guys and welcome. Welcome to my channel. If you're here specifically because of refined movement and you want to continue with the progress of the Civic, well, you're at the right place because that's what we're going to do. I'm going to work on the Civic. If we can have it primed by the end of today, we'll be in great shape. I have Travis with me and he's going to be lending a helping hand since it's his car. That's kind of the stuff that we worked out. And I'll of course take the help, so I'm happy for him to be here. So let's get right into it. Starting to make progress on the Silver EK Coupe refined movement collaboration. Yeah. Refined Movement. So Travis, give them a little background about your car and the build and the channel. So my channel is Refined Movement. Like you said, uh, check us out. There will be a link in the description. Um, my car is a 98 Honda Civic DX. I've had it for about 12 years. Um, two years ago, I really started aggressively um, pre prepping it for the track. Um, I have about 40-ish videos on my channel of all the mods that I've done. Um, we also have a, a Civic EG on our channel as well, so go check out our channel. You can see the full build of both cars. Cool. So like you said, guys, definitely go check that out if you're a fan of content and more race-inspired and just good quality videos. Go check them out. I, I would definitely it. recommend it. So let's just get started. We're going to start to prep the car, and if we can prime it by the end of today, we'll be in great shape. Alright guys, so at this point we got the car completely masked off. Mask on, stop. Fuck it, mask on. I couldn't be more pleased with where we are. We're still pretty early in the day. We probably spent a couple hours where he's helped me out a lot and I really appreciate that. So that's good for progress, that's good for everything. So the next step is I'm gonna mix up the primer and I'm gonna spray that. Right, guys so I just finished up the primer I'm really happy with it if you feel like you've already seen this before in refined movements video that's because you did but from this point forward it's gonna be only content that you're gonna see on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep moving forward I'm gonna go ahead and sand down the car what I do is I take 600 grit sandpaper and then I finish off with an 800 grit sandpaper so let's get right into that Alrighty guys, so I just finished sanding up the car. My main objective when I'm sanding a car after I prime it before I lay down my base coat is I want the surface to be completely consistent. It's kind of similar to when you're wet sanding if you can relate. That's the only thing that I can compare it to. One thing that I wanted to mention before I start painting the car, I wanted to address this because a couple people have asked me about this, so I just wanted to answer it before you ask. So about the headlights, I like to remove them and then I like to tape them off completely and then I like to put them back. That way they kind of block a bunch of overspray from going in and under the engine bay and all that stuff and that completely protects the lights better than they would if you just taped them off while you left them there. So I believe that's the best of both worlds. No overspray is getting up under the hood in the engine bay and the lights are going to be completely protected. So that's the way that I like to do it. If you want to do it your own way when you're painting a car, you can do that. So anyways, let's keep move and time to lay down some base coat.
Alrighty guys, so I just finished laying down that base coat. What I ended up doing was I laid down four coats of base. Silver is such a challenging color for me because the main thing is to make it as consistent as possible. And just the nature of silver, as you saw when I was mixing it, there's all the pigments and all the flakes and it's just pretty challenging for me. I don't know if you guys that paint feel the same way, but I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mash down three coats of clear. So let's get right into that. All right, so I just laid down my third coat of clear and I mean, man, the car looks great. I couldn't have asked for the process to go any smoother and I think we're in really good shape. The reason why I like to do three coats of clear is because when I wet sand and buff the car, I know that I have a good solid base to work with. I can sand it down, make it nice and smooth, buff it back to a mirror finish and that's what I like to do. So we're making great progress. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so at this point I'm completely done painting. I'm done doing all the silver. Usually I like to paint in two if not three sessions. That way I can kind of focus on the pieces that I'm painting and I don't get too overwhelmed. I don't know how some of you other painters do it but I don't care what you guys do kind of. But anyways, so now I'm gonna wet sand and buff the car. As you can see on this side I already started. That's why I look super dull. This is how you want it to look as you're wet sanding and buffing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue on and I'm gonna keep wet sanding so that way I can buff it and I can wrap this car up and we'll be mother loving done, boy. Alrighty guys, so coming into my very last day with the EK Coupe, he's going to be picking up the car tomorrow. So what I've been doing the last couple of days, and it's kind of a long process, I've just been wet sanding and buffing and polishing and buffing some more, buffing, buffing, polishing some more, the whole entire car. As you can see, he brought me this extra bumper, so I just painted his old one for him. That'll just be a good spare for him. If anything happens at the track, he can just throw that other one on. And I wanna make people understand that when they bring me their stuff, don't expect that I'm gonna do some extra stuff for you, but I enjoy doing this stuff. But anything that I do extra, I have to understand the money's not there. So it's kind of a constant battle for me, but I'm always more than happy to put a little extra effort into your car just like it's my own because I take pride in my work. But anyways, so the plan for today is I just gotta wrap up a couple other things. Right here, I ran the wires for the third brake light, so that's gonna be going on the wing, which I have sitting over there to be painted. So here we go, crunch time, final day. He's gonna be picking up the car tomorrow, and I'm gonna have it beautiful and nice and ready for him. All right, so I got the wing mounted and completely ready to go. The third brake light works now and everything was just perfect. It actually turns out all the wires back there that are on the brake light, they're all a green wire with the white stripe. I had to look it up through the schematics and I tested it anyways just to be safe. I always do, it's better to check than to just guess. But anyways, walking around the car, let's see what else I did. So I installed his antenna delete. I got that all set up for him. I installed his APR side view mirrors. I think they're super cool. They're a really nice touch his um, arrow, hood latches, all that stuff. And then also this headlight, as you can see, I made the headlight video, check that out over here or over there. I'm not too sure where it is, but that's gonna be perfect for his intake. So he's gonna be picking up the car tomorrow. I'm gonna do a little talking with him and we're gonna see his reaction and just what he thinks. And then from there, he's gonna be going straight to the track. So all the other stuff with this car, go subscribe to their channel because it's gonna pick up over there. But that's about it for me as far as today. I'm gonna call him and have him come pick up to the car. Alrighty, so today's the day. I'm sure Travis has been waiting for this for quite a while. I really hope he's happy with it. I mean, what do you guys think? I think it turns out great. Leave it in the comment section below what you think, how you feel about it. So anyways, what else do I have going on? I have a couple different projects coming up. 
As you know, I'm still working on the Mustang, but anyways, more of that will be coming out later. I think he's pulling up now. What are some of your first thoughts on the car? How do you feel about it? I mean, my first impression, seeing the whole car, is it looks awesome. Perfect. You know, I have, this car has not been this shiny since I bought it. I've had this car for 12 years, and um, this is probably the best that it's looked. Right, so, I gotcha. So I'm super pumped on this. I think you did a great job. I appreciate that, man. And thank you so much for bringing me the car. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe to keep up with all my stuff coming up. You know what it is, YouTube. I'm out.